Hey, Denarland, this is Ninja, and this is part two of the Mark Z update from Tuesday, May 21st, 2019. Mark Z said, No NDA yet. I am getting leaned on to be very quiet. A number of Intel providers are also being leaned on, and they have gone quiet. I'm guessing this may have happened to Sam Oliver and Sheldon as well. I told them if you want me to be quiet, then you should show up at my door, ring my bell, give me my NDA, give me my package, and I will be quiet. Until then, I will continue to give you what I believe is safe to share. Uh, then a member said, some in Reno Admiral Group were told to shut the heck up. I get nothing at all. Um... A question for Mark was, who leans on you? Mark Z said, government contacts and banking contacts. Then he said, not a whole lot of movement overnight. We still seem to be stuck on go. I did not see any CMKX deliveries last night, but I'm not getting any negative news. My contacts at the Redemption Centers are on a standby and ready. They firmly believe that they'll be exchanging folks this week. On or before Thursday is what they've been told. I really hope they are right. A question. Can you explain the mess with Wells Fargo, please? Answer. They were supposed to be ready for 800 numbers and did not do their job. The upper management at Wells Fargo has drug and drug and drug. They have enjoyed the profits being made by the money sitting there is my take on it. A uh, member said, makes you wonder who's making the money with holding up the RV and the 800 numbers. A uh, question from Mark. Mark, are you still looking to possibly sign your NDA today? Answer, yes, I still think today is very much in play for that, today through Thursday. Question, is Mr. C a paymaster? Answer, Mr. Cottrell does have some paymaster type duties to do after this thing. His job is very interesting. Uh, Mark Z also said, we are still hearing it's very possible the 800 num numbers could be today until early on Thursday. Banking contacts say that's very much in play. They had a mess in Germany to clean up, and of course, Bank of China taking over Wells Fargo over here. Wells Fargo was supposed to have this done last Thursday for a weekend rollout, which did not happen. And that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in.